Hello everyone, how are you doing today? This is Stephen with Divine Mobile Home Central. In today's video, we are back out at Wayne Fryer in McClendon, Florida. Today we're going to be touring this gorgeous double wide live oak home brand, which is called The Predator. The Predator is a four bedroom, two bathroom, multi-section home. So with that being said, without further ado, let's start the tour. All right, you guys, so this is the outside of The Predator. It's a four bedroom, two bathroom, multi-section home by Live Oak Homes. So this is the exterior. I really love the color contrast that they would have. I love the, um, I think that's Borden Batten, I think. I might be wrong, but I love the gray right there with the light gray, the dark gray, and as well as the neutral tone color grays. It's different types of grays and whites. I really like it. And I love the, uh, the gray skirting also that goes along with it. It goes, actually goes very well with it. All right, so let's look at the home's information. Uh, feel free to pause the video if you want to look at this more closely. All right, so let's go around the back of the home. So this is the rear elevation of the Predator. That's the Annabelle right there. I just tore this earlier up in the videos, but I'll put the link up in the iCard above if you want to go check out that video. But now back to the Predator. So this is the rear elevation. Rear elevation of your home. Let's take a look at the utilities. All right, so right there you have your water spigot, outside water spigot. You have a drain outlet and your fresh water connection. Uh, you would have your back door, of course. You can always add your own light right there, but you might be able to get the dealership to maybe add one for you, but it's really up to you. Okay, you have your um, outside dryer vent. You have your uh, plug-in outlet for the outside. And so you would have another light right there and as well as your uh, glass patio sliding door. Get you all one more look. All right, let's go and see what the Predator has to offer. So we're now stepping inside. All right, so first thing you're greeted with is your living room. Look at this gorgeous living room. So we just came in through the front door right there. I like the fact that you have a cutout. And you know, take your shoes off and, you know, You also have a, a, a glass insert in your door as well. And of course, you would have your storm door. I love these storm doors. I like the fact that you can leave this door open and leave this door closed. That way, you can get additional natural light into your house. All right, so right here, you have a, a entry table. Plenty of space for an entry table right there. But this is how they would have it uh, set up and decorated, but you can decorate it any way that you want. All right, so here's some additional information. There's a floor plan right there if you wanna look at it. 
uh, you will also have uh, additional specifications too. Okay, so let's look at the living room again. Slow pan here. You have your windows over here. And all the windows in the house are low E thermal pane windows. So this is a very, very energy efficient home. Another look at the living room here. Okay. I really love the woodwork around the surrounding the uh, entertainment center in our area. And you also have your floating shelving. But remember, if you don't like any of this, you can definitely opt out of it. You know, br bring your own cabinet. You know, bring what you want. You know, make this home the way that you want it to be. All right, so let's turn our attention to the kitchen and dining room area. Right here, you have your dining room. Of course, they would have a six seater right here, but of course, um, you know, you can always add your own. I love the cedar paneling that they would have surrounding the, uh, the pat glass patio sliding door. And of course, you could definitely build on like an optional deck or patio. Absolutely love it. All right, so here's your kitchen. You have a nice, gorgeous center island. You would have uh, uh, storage right there for your book recipes or, or, or any kind of additional decorations that you would have. And I really love this countertop. Absolutely nice. You would have a chandelier above your center island area. Okay, you have additional cabinets. And as well as your recessed lighting in the ceiling. And this home would also have the air vents in the ceiling throughout the home as well. Let's get y'all a look at some cabinet space. You have cabinets right here. You have cabinet space right here. All right, let's take a look at some more cabinets. Now this is something that I really love, this wallpaper right here. And this is actually a part of the sheetrock that you can choose. Remember I told you, you can choose different options of colors that you can choose from for your, if you, if you, if you decided to go with um, uh, the, uh, the drywall that has the batten strips. So you have, um, these are additional options that you can choose from. So I really like this. It really gives it a farmhouse touch. All right. so. You have additional counter space right there. Of course, you'd have your farmhouse sink, gooseneck faucet. Of course, there's plenty of space for a plant right here. You can water your plant, and then there's plenty of uh, you can look out the window while you're doing the dishes. And of course, you would have an additional window above there as well. Uh, let's give you a look at some drawer spaces. So those would be your drawers right there. Of course, again, you have your um, Frigidaire appliance package for this kitchen. You have your dishwasher. course more cabinet space anybody want some apples they're free <laughs> definitely some free apples life is sweet definitely is I absolutely agree
And of course you have space up there for decorations and decor. Overall, this is a very, very nice kitchen. All right, and of course you would have plug-in outlets as well on either side. So if you have like a small kitchen appliances like slow cookers, air fryers, that's, this is absolutely perfect. You can place it right here in this area and you know, uh, cook into your heart's desire. All right, before we move on, let's look underneath here real quickly. You have additional cabinet space underneath here. So that's underneath your center island. All right. All right, so I think the master bedroom is on this side of the house, but we'll check that out last. Always, on this channel, I always like to save the master bedroom for last, which is the best for last. Well, at least in my opinion, anyway. All right, so let's go this way. All right, so this is your hallway. You have a nice long hallway. And this right, you're probably wondering what this is right here. Well, this is a wire connection for your central heat and air conditioning. Now, um, now if you know who I am and you've seen my other videos, if I bought this home, I would personally put an Ecobee thermostat right here on this wall. Absolutely perfect. Something that you can control from your iPhone, your Android phone, or whatever type of phone that you have. All right. Let's see what this space is. All right, so this is your utility room. Very nice utility room. I love the wood vinyl laminate flooring that they have. Really nice. Of course, you got space for your washer and dryer. You got storage space. Get y'all a look here. Again, I really love the hardware that they would have on the count on the cabinets. It's very contemporary. Okay, get y'all a look at the ceiling so you can see what's up there. Perfect. And over here, you'd have additional space right here. You have an additional space right there. Uh, plenty of space for uh, laundry hampers and knickknacks and whatever you got. Of course, you got additional um, space right here so you can fold your laundry. That's uh, perfect. You can put your bleach, your pine saw, uh, Fabuloso, or whatever you, whatever kind of cleaning products you have up here. You can also put your ironing board and steamer up there too. Maybe a small ironing board, maybe. Hey, you might be able to put your ironing board right there. So, something to think about. This may be the water heater, I'm not exactly sure, but we'll find out later. All right, so that's your utility room, you guys. All right, so let's check out the rest. I always like to point out the utilities in this house, in the houses that I've tore. All right, so right there will be your air, your um, air handler for your central heat and air. So that'll be right there for the whole house. Okay. Get y'all a look up here. Let me get you a slow pan. All right. So before we look at the bedrooms, let's take a look at this bathroom. All right, so this is your hallway guest bathroom. Look at this. Look at the hallway guest bathroom. Of course, you would have your sink right here. Be your sink. Vanity lighting, mirror. You have your light switches. And of course, you have the um, you have plug in outlets for your uh, shavers or hair dryers, flat irons, or curly irons, whatever you might have. All right, here's your commode, of course. And this right here be your uh, full fiberglass garden tub. Uh, I'm not sure why I am keep saying that. It's a full fiberglass 
tub and shower combo. That's what that is. All right, very easy to maintain and keep clean, of course. Get y'all a look at the bathroom for another angle. All right, so this is your hallway bathroom. Let's check out the rest of the house. All right, so this is the first of the four bedrooms. Let's take a quick look. Get y'all look at the ceiling. Get y'all a look at the floor. All right, let's check out the closet. All right. You know, I don't think I turned on a light for you guys. I don't know if it works. There you go. You not only have a light in here, you would also would have a ceiling fan. Look at that. That's very nice. All right. Let's take a look at bedroom number two. So this is the second bedroom. Let's take a look. Slow pan. Get y'all a better perspective of it. You see that? All right. All right, let's, let's look over here. I love these, uh, love the transom windows along with the regular windows. Very nice. All right, let's take a look at the closet. And then we'll look at the other bedroom. This is your closet. There you go. You have light in your closet, you guys. Gives you a better perspective. Plenty of space in this closet. All right, let's go check out the other room. Oh yeah, make sure, once you know, this one works too, so. So this is the fourth bedroom. The third bedroom, excuse me. All right, let's take a look for another angle. It's bedroom number three. Um, we know that one works too, so. I like the fact that these have ceiling fans in them. Very nice. And of course you have these beautiful res interior resi residential doors. Take a look at the closet. There we are. It's your closet space. Okay, you have your shelving right here. Plenty of space in the closet. Look, get y'all a look at the ceiling. There you go, slow pan. All right. All right, so let's go check out the family room and the master bedroom. All right, so let's take a look at the family room, then we'll check out the master. So over here, but you have a dedicated family room space. Plenty of space in the family room right here. Or, you know, if you didn't really need a family room, you might be able to use this for an office space. Or if you, really, if you want to put a really huge dining room set in here, you could use this space right here along with this space. And you have a very, very, very long dining room table. S something to think about. Let me know what you would do with these spaces down in the comment section. All right, you guys. So before we go to the master bedroom, I'm gonna get your attention to over here. Look, they have the cedar paneling along that wall over there. I think that's very, very custom. All right, so before we go to the master bedroom, if you are new here and you've made it this far, I invite you to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bells anytime I upload content like this. That way you stay notified. And if you like these videos, definitely give it a like. 
It really helps out with the channel. Again, thank you. So let's check out the master bedroom. All right, we're now entering the master bedroom. So this is your master. Plenty of space in this master bedroom. Let's get you all a view from another angle. Plenty of space. I love the two windows. You could definitely put like your king size bed right here. And I put like a nice picture up there. You put like your dresser over here. And you might better put like a chest or drawer right here, you know. At least that's what I would do. But it's whatever you want to do. So, all right, so let's take a look at the master closet. All right, you guys, so this will be your master closet. Now, I know some of you guys, you like it when the master closet is separate from the master bathroom. So if that's what you're looking for, this one is absolutely perfect. And your shelving wraps all the way around here. Wraps all the way over there. Get your slow pan down. Plenty of storage space in this mask. This is, this is, wow. There's some bedrooms that are, that, are this, that are this exact size. This is larger than some bedrooms. So you have, you have another huge closet. Another huge closet. All right, let's, let's go check out the master bathroom. Then we'll close out the video. All right, so we are now entering the master bathroom. Gorgeous master bathroom. We give you all a moment to take all this in. And look, this uh, garden tub has another stepping stone, just like the gladiator did. I did the gladiator video right before this one. So if you want to be interested in seeing that video tour, I'll put the link up in the I card above. Again, you have your nice window. You have your, uh, gray cedar paneling very nice all right let's look over here you have your double sinks you have a very long vanity again they have the cedar the um gray tone cedar paneling plenty of space to store toiletries and whatever perfume or cologne or whatever you have Let's look over here real fast. Again, you have the cedar paneling right here. Hey, look, you have hooks right there. Where you can hang like your bathrobes and bath towels and that kind of thing. Of course, you have your commode right there. All right, last but not least, here's the walk-in shower. Look at the hand-laid shower. You have your Rainmaker shower head. You have your handle. Got plenty of space in here. Okay, turn you guys around. This is how it look from your uh, shower point of view. And of course, you know I'm not gonna end it without touching this. Real hand laid tile, you guys. Real hand laid tile. Overall, this is a very, very impressive manufactured home. The Predator has a lot going for it. All right, you guys. Well, that will conclude the tour of this home. This home was called the Predator, which is by Live Oak Homes. So if you are interested, the dealership's contact information will be down in the description box. They'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. Well, all right, you guys. Well, it's time for us to move on to the next house. This is Steven with Divine Mobile Home Central your central source for manufactured modular home tours and more. I will see you all in the next video. Y'all take care. Have a wonderful day.